Hello and welcome to more Spyro the Dragon. Sorry for not having a video yesterday, guys, but we are back. Everything is back to normal. And let's head off to World 4. We have Tuco the Balloonist. So we could go to Artisans, Peacekeepers, or Beastmakers. We're going to go directly to the fourth world here. So at this point, uh, last episode, we actually got introduced to the... Uh, the way that you unlock the flight stage back in World 1. So if you didn't know about that beforehand, now is probably the time you'd go back and do that. But we're just going to move on to Beastmakers. Now this... I remember this being my least favorite world in the game. And being the only world I didn't like that much. With that said, I haven't actually played this game in about 4 or 5 years. So maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Maybe it's actually a lot better than I remember. So I'm going to try to go in with an open mind. Uh, just kind of imagining myself re-experiencing this world for, oh my gosh for the first time that was not a good start to things so we have these guys who kind of zap their little little floor but as long as we don't step on it we'll be just fine so i guess you know what let's go ahead and save our first dragon of world four and this one is bruno Nasty oh my gosh Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junkie well, that's not good it used to be so beautiful hmm. i'm sure it was yeah well, thanks. Thanks, Bruno. I think we're just gonna go right into a stage, guys. We have Terrace Village. Well, let me grab what's directly behind it first. Then we'll, then we'll definitely get directly into it. Oh my gosh, look at all these fireworks right here. So let's go into the stage. I'm pretty sure this world follows the same formula that all the other worlds, uh, worlds follow, which is one boss, one flight, and three regular stages. Is that how they work? I think that's how they work. Let's get dropped right in. So we got some swamp water around here. Oh! So these guys, the big guys in this one, they actually got some electric charge stuff. I'm not sure if they can actually like shoot at us or something. But it looks like as long as we get to them before they do anything crazy, we'll be fine. Oh! Those guys got some cannon armor action. Okay, come here, buddy. Gotcha! Gotcha! Ooh! Oh, get the double, the double! No! Almost had the double. Oh, did they drop treasure? I must have already gotten it. Maybe Sparks got it for me. But I don't remember collecting anything they dropped. Whoa, did you see that? He just, like, zapped all the little critters. That was so mean. Do the butterflies at least come out? Yep, okay, so at the very least, the butterflies do come out. So if you look at it that way, if I was actually hurt, he pretty much would have just healed me right there. So maybe he's just trying to be nice. Maybe he wants to be our friend, and we just run up and kill them. I mean, he didn't... He never actually zapped me. He only zapped uh, the critters, so... I think those guys were trying to be our friends. Let's go kill this guy and get ourselves a butterfly. And let's get that extra life. Do I even need that? Um, kinda. I only had four because I, I got that game over, and once you get a game over, they put you back with four lives. I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff here. Ow! Okay, these guys are not our friends. Maybe, maybe just the one was our friend. I'm gonna go back real quick, guys, just to make sure I haven't missed anything because the levels are gonna start getting pretty complicated here. So I just wanna take a quick peek and make sure we have not skipped past anything. And it looks like we are good, but we... Oh, nope, nope, nope. See, that's why we That's why we go back and check. I just had that I just had that feeling. The explorer in me is just like, yo, there's probably some little spot you missed, and I was right. So we got that under control now, so I guess we'll continue through this little area. Hmm. I think this is where I was from before. Yeah, okay, so they connect back here. I could have just gone through that way. Anything back on this corner? There is not. So we're good. I think we can actually safely move on, get ourselves this dragon. What is up, Cloud? Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. Huh, all right. Is this area supposed to be like a Louisiana swamp or something? Or wait, where are swamplands in uh, the US? Because they all have that kind of accent that kind of, I guess, I don't even know what kind of accent that is, but usually I hear that kind of accent associated with uh, like bayou type areas, I guess. Let's see. Oh, we got the fireworks. Let's light that up. I think it's going to blow up that chest on the other side of that guy. So we'll work our way over there. I really need... Oh, gosh. I really need a heal right now. Okay, we got that guy. Um, I might go back to get a heal because I am not doing so good right now. And it looks like maybe there's two unbreakable chests. So maybe the firework broke one of them. So you know what, guys? I'm going to go back and actually heal because I don't, I don't trust myself with these things. There we go. I was not able to heal up all the way. I was only able to find one... Uh, actually, two. I found... Oh, my gosh. They do have a zap cannon. But, yeah, I found two critters. Now we're back down to a green here. Good thing I decided to heal. Otherwise, that guy would have killed me. Well, let's kill this one. Uh, let's see if there's anything back here as well. I'm looking for another firework. There's actually a lot of these uh, chests that I can't normally break. So what I need to do is go through that guy, kill that guy, 
and then kill that guy all before they get me. And that guy spotted me. That's not good. Get him. Get him. Boom. Okay, let's go back get these treasures that we missed. And get this one as well. Let's go get this drag. Oh, lots of critters to get. So that'll that'll heal sparks up. But we have Kip Kiprin. What the heck kind of name is that? What good is he job, doing? Spiral. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. I want to believe that that was not a coincidence that he was French and uh, laying like that, because that's like the draw me like your French girl's pose from uh, from Titanic. So is that like a common pose in France? I really don't know that much about that. So I don't. I don't know. I just know that quote from Titanic. Let's grab all this. Definitely lots of stuff I missed back here, so we're gonna backtrack a little bit. And there is a lot of zapping going on. Wow! I know I pointed out the one up right before I uh, got that dragon, and I just completely forgot about it. But we have it now, up to six lives. Wait for him to zap real quick, and go! Got him, and got him. I guess we could jump across right here. Oh my gosh, we gotta like... Jump and charge all the way through all of them. Oh, he got me right before I hit him. Come on, dude. I probably could have, like, jumped and then, uh, and then tried to flame him or something before I landed. But that was unfortunate. Is that it here? Where do I go? Uh, oh, down here. There we go. All right. You always got to keep your eyes peeled because you never know where the next turn's going to be. Unless you've played the zones a bunch. Then you probably do know. Let's get Sparks back to full. Get that glowing yellow action. I am I'm getting a little bit tired of that zappy sound. Alright, alright. Enough of the zappy, dude. I know there was another platform up there, but I guess we'll work our way around this way. I hear a, a swoop de loop. Where's that coming from? I don't know where that's coming from. I guess we'll just have to go work our way across the top again. Really not sure. This is what I remember the World 4 being like. It's... It's not that they're that bad of stages, but they're just very easy to get lost. But here we go, we can just go across this way. Get him, get him, get him, got him! There's the swoop de whoop so let's get the treasure, then we can go take that. And that'll help us get across to the other side. Let me also check here, we need 400 treasure, no dragon eggs obviously, because we have all those, and only two dragons. So we just have to get a little bit more treasure and we're done here. We got a couple places we can jump across to. I'm gonna go across to this side first. And we can get this guy, I think we'll just jump from here to there. Still looking out for fireworks that might help me... Oh, jeez. Uh, some fireworks that might help me blow, uh, blow up those one chests. I am not seeing anything. That is not good. We'll get these guys. We're definitely not done with the stage yet, so we're not going to take that portal. So we've missed some things at some different points. Let's let's work our way back here. So we still have all of those chests up there. We have that unbreakable as well as that unbreakable. So I think it's probably going to be most of what we have left on this stage. So let's work our way to this side, see if there's any way to get up there. And it looks like this might be the way to go. Uh, okay, let's see, what happens if I get across this way? That is not a jump that I can make, it seems. Crud. The only way I can think of to get across there is to jump from here, so if I can't make this, I don't know what to do. Crud. It looks like I might be able to make that, but it's pretty tight. I I've been looking around for like several minutes now, and that's the only th way I can find to get over there is maybe making that jump, so I'll keep trying. Okay, let's get to the very edge right here. At the peak of our jump. Jump right across, and we made it! I'm not sure if that's the intended way, but that's the only way I could even conceive of to get across. We did it! Alright, good job, Spyro! So now we just gotta jump over this way. I'm guessing this is gonna be pretty much it for the treasure, because I've explored pretty much everywhere else. So unless I missed, like, just one little thing along the way, this is probably gonna be it. So let's go ahead and grab these two fireworks, as well as some chests up here. We got ourselves a 10 just right there, as well. Got that one, nice! Get this guy. So I think I want to make sure I jump across to this before I go down there. So we can jump over to this guy. That's quite a few gems right there, but not nearly enough to get us to the full. So hopefully there's quite a few over here as well. Looks like we have 17. Will that be enough? That is not going to be enough. So I have missed some gems somewhere. So we're going to have to go look for that. I think it might be back this way, guys. So let me do some exploration. I'll meet you guys when we find those last 12 gems. Okay, I've spotted at least one chest. I don't know how I've missed these before. This might be all of it, actually. So there's a staircase right here after the swoop doo We jump across, get a staircase. Oh, these are probably going to be it. Oh my gosh. Blue, blue. Give me a green. There we go. We got all of the treasure. Not sure how I missed this before, but we're up to all 400 treasure. Just so you guys know how much time I've wasted in this area, I have already recorded for 17 and a half minutes. My goodness, that stage took me forever. But 
We're done with that. Got ourselves 400 treasure. I think what we're going to do next, let's go ahead and finish off this home world. I think that um, World 4 might take three episodes just because a lot of these stages are starting to get a bit longer and a lot more confusing. So let's finish up this home world at the very least. Uh, thank you, Gem. I was like, where is it? You can kind of see there's a blue gem, like, in the actual chest. Ooh, that uh, blew them both up. Nice. So we got some new enemies here. I got some pig dudes. I think these might also be enemies. Okay, that one wasn't. I think sometimes those things can also be enemies, but not always, apparently. Over here we have... What is this? Misty Bog. Ooh, that actually sounds like a fun state. You know what? Let's do Misty Bog instead. I was saying we'll finish off the homeworld, but I think instead we'll do this. Um, there's one stage in particular in World 4 called Treetops, and that stage, in my opinion, is the most confusing stage in the entire game. So, we'll get to that one eventually, but Misty Bog is actually a pretty cool stage, so let's do this one. Oh, that guy's got some armor, we gotta watch out for that. So, off to a quick start, already got ourselves 15 gems. So this one we need 500 gems and 4 dragons, so quite a lot to collect here. But this one is not so uh, dark and everything, it's a, a little bit more... Uh, daytime, I guess. So here we have those enemies I was talking about. They kind of charge up and then just rush at you, but as long as you time your fire, you'll be just fine. Got those guys. Yeah, this one's not so confusing. There are a few split paths later on, but as long as we keep our ice peeled, we'll be fine. Peel them like some potatoes, oranges, carrots, other things that have peels. What are, I can't think of anything else you'd peel, I guess. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was going to be a critter or an actual enemy. It looks like that's an actual enemy. And that might be where we get a vast majority of our gems this time around. Lots and lots of combat. So we've already killed quite a few enemies. So I think this is going to be more of a combat stage, which I'm, I'm definitely down for. We've had not too many stages like that. They're giving us quite a few 1-ups, which is awesome. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I've died in combat yet. Maybe once. But most of my deaths has just been from missing jumps, which Sparks can't really save us from that. We're a little bit too heavy for him to just pick us back up like that. Look at these guys. Boom. Kaboom! Already over 100 gems right now. We've barely gotten started. Uh, see, there's our split path I was talking about. We could go across that way, or we could go across this way. But I think we want to go that way first. But let's go ahead and grab this dragon. Get ourselves some Roscoe. It's not Costco. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are okay. cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. It's a swamp. Are you guys more afraid of cold-blooded killers or warm-blooded killers? I don't really know what the difference is, but, well, you know what? We'll go save this guy. He's getting chased by a pig, and he turns around and he hits me. Wow, that's a great way to thank me. We save your life, and you repay us by hitting us, so we'll just kill him. We're fine. We got him back. So I think that's all we can really, whoa, that's, I think that's all we can really do over there, so let's, oh my gosh, there was another split path. I don't know if you guys saw that. I'm not sure if this ramp will take us over there. Let me, let me grab a few goodies right here real quick, and then we'll go down that extra path. Oop, I can actually break these, come on. Oh, maybe this is not a split path, maybe, well, it's technically a split, but maybe it has a dead end here. No, never mind, we have to go down that thing, and I don't think you're coming back after you go in there, so let's, let's not go there yet. Let's actually jump across this way. We can get ourselves that critter. Oh, made it! Wow, he ran right into the cage. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and steal his lunch, I guess. I don't know why he was trying to catch that. I mean, does he eat butterflies? What I want to know. Oh gosh, we're not dead, but I got to be careful. Uh, I made it, and then he tongues me. Gosh dang it! Well, we're dead. Anyways, what I want to know is if you get. If you eat one of those critters, say I just like, go ahead and give them the munch, right? Will I poop out a butterfly? I mean, because once once they poof, they, they turn it... What? I don't know why my glide didn't come out there, but... Oh well. But anyways, once you kill them, they poop, so I'm thinking they might turn into a butterfly in your stomach. Maybe you'd poop that out. I don't know. This time, we're not going to get killed by these frogs. Boom! Oh! Wow, we got the double kill. One flame, two kills. Let's go spy rope. Do I want to go this way? Doesn't look like it. Let's just go up this way. So I'm thinking this this path will eventually loop back around, and then we'll go back down that hole. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Oh gosh, he was hiding behind the armor guy. Wow! Wow, am I going to have my first combat death? No, we are not. Got him. Got him. No! The first combat death. I tried so hard to be efficient there, but those tongues just have such good range. So I guess I'll meet you guys back there. Dang it. Let's try this one again. I kind of learned this the hard way. If you just go in and try to rush down the frogs, 
just like that. See, they can actually tongue you before you hit them. So I think that might be the first enemy we fought that can do that. Normally the enemies, um, normally they die if you just rush them down, but not those frogs. Those things are crazy. But we're gonna save Damon right here. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh no. Why? I remember. Uh, gotta go. Well, the running joke of old dragons wanting to tell stories and Spyro not wanting to pay attention, that continues, but I don't know why they feel like they've been trapped for so long, unless it's like the hyperbolic time chamber inside there or something, but they've been inside there for like, when did we start the series? Like two weeks ago? So it hasn't been that long. I mean, I'm not that slow at beating the game, jeez. Is that all that's up here? Oh, I get it. So we loop all the way back around and that gives us a place to fly back across. Well. I am not exactly the brightest box in the crayons, but we're good. So we got that. I think I'm just going to meet you guys back at that little fairy spot. All right, let's drop on down. Let's go, Mr. Fairy. Oh, and that's all there was. I don't think they're going to give us a swoop to whoop, so I don't think we can go back out. Let's just go kill off all these plant things. Kill all the plant life. That's what Spyro does. I, wow, I could have swore I just heard a, a dragon egg thief, but those don't exist anymore. Let's see, is this the last dragon? No, we still got two more to save, so this is just number three right here. Let's go get him. So this time we have Zeke. Thank you for releasing me. No problem, Zeke. I'm thinking we heard that sound clip before. You watch out. Ow! Well, we were able to ram bulls in World 1. We were able to ram rams in World 1. We cannot ram warthogs, apparently. Those guys are too strong, so we gotta be careful about that. Yeah, the combat here is way more difficult than anything we've had to deal with before. And that warthog just killed that other frog right there. Go kill all these ninja guys. Oh my gosh. I am not going to have another combat death. Where is butterflies? Well, good thing I went back because there's a gem right here I missed. So we'll grab that at least, but I need me some butterflies right now. But yeah, you guys can see there's a huge increase in difficulty, both in the combat and in the exploration in World 4. So this is just, the game gets a lot more difficult here. Um, so it's probably starting to get kind of kind of cringe-worthy watching this, but I am doing my best, guys. I mean, it, it really does just get a lot more difficult here. Get all these. Kind of a pain in the butt to collect by hand, but we got it. Or by dragon foot, whatever I have. Okay, so I think this is the last dragon here. We've still got a lot more to do, but we'll, we'll at least save this guy, so let's get. Berber. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! Wow. Uh huh. How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons after all. Yeah, good, good idea, Spyro. Using your game mechanics to their fullest effect. So I still have no sparks right now. One more hit and I'll be dead. Let's just wait for him. Yeah, we got him. I knew he was going to charge those guys, so I just waited. And I'm still missing a lot of treasure. It goes up to 500 here. I mean, if it was 400, we'd be done. But we are still got a lot to go. So we got four right here, but it's not going to be anywhere near completion. Still got 93 to go. So where do we go next? I feel like we've been everywhere already, but... Apparently not. So, there is some treasure up there, I'm guessing. So, how do we get up there is the question. Uh, let's see. We might be able to, like, fly across from one of these pillars to something. Oh, maybe we can go on top of this wall right here, then jump up those steps. That'll do it. So, we'll go boom. And then we can jump across this way. Boom! There we go! So, now we actually have some pretty interesting platforming going on. Oh, yeah! And they're not giving me a single gosh dang butterfly right now. Give me that crud. So we got all the stuff up here. I'm guessing now we got to go across this way. Oh my gosh, there's water. Please don't hit the water. Please don't hit the water. Thank you. Let's make these jumps perfectly. No, oh, be perfect, Spyro. Dang it, man. Okay, we're back here once again. Spark has taken a little bit of damage. Or Sparks. I think his name is Sparks. But we're back up here. There we go. Okay, let's just get across. Got a lot of guys to kill Sparks. We got to go on a murderous rampage. I missed one. I missed one. Oh, he's chasing me down. Wow, I missed two of them, even. Thought I just missed the one, but no. Got two guys after me. Oh, please tell me this is all the treasure. Okay, we're getting some big numbers right here. Get these. Let's get the double. All right, another 15. So what do we need left for this one to be it? We need... Is 10 enough? That might be enough. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we got all of it. So we got the Terrace Village and Misty Bog completed. Sorry that one is a little bit painful to watch, guys. But thank you so much for watching. We're back to daily uploads for Spyro. I'll see you guys tomorrow where we might tackle Treetops, the craziest stage in the game. I'll see you guys then. Take care.